Warren, welcome to the room. Uh, let's get started with our first questions from Anthony Dasher and Mark Weiser. Hey, Warren, good to see you today. I want to ask you what I asked John just a little bit ago, you know, about, you know, teams playing with a chip on their shoulder, how they typically play, play better like that. My question was, I guess, number one, does this team now have a chip on their shoulder? And if so, in what ways can it help you guys moving forward? You know, I would definitely say we have a chip on our shoulder. You know, losing the SEC championship uh, definitely left a bad taste in our mouth. You know, it's kind of refocused us and made us, you know, look ourselves in the mirror and, you know, kind of get back to the grind and get back to the, uh, get back to work. Hey, Warren, from uh, watching film of uh, Michigan, Aiden Hutchinson in particular, what kind of stands out about what makes him a very effective pass rusher and, and what kind of challenge does he protect, uh, particularly present? Um, you know, he's a high effort guy. He strains, you know, every play, you know, he's always, he's always going to give you his best effort. So just being able to match his um, effort is, is huge. Let's go to Allison Mastrangelo and Charles Odom. I guess following that, what will be the key to be able to protect Stetson Bennett better, especially after the sacks that he had to take during the SEC championship when you have a guy like Aiden Hutchinson on the other side? Wait, can you repeat the question? How, going off of what you said about Aiden Hutchinson, what's the key to now protecting Stetson Bennett better and after all the sacks he had gone through in the SEC championship when you have a guy like Aiden Hutchinson coming at him? You know, first we need to look at ourselves, you know, and figure out how, what we did wrong and how we can improve that. And just, um, you know, going into practice, knowing that we have good guys that we're about to go up against, you know, and just taking pride and keeping, uh, protecting our quarterback. Warren, from an offensive uh, standpoint, uh, from your perspective on offense, uh, have you seen any changes on uh, Georgia defense in practice, uh, you know, following the announcement about Dan Lanning? Um, no, I haven't really seen too much of a difference. You know, they still come in and they still work. You know, Coach Lanning, he still comes in and he still works. He gives us everything he's got. And um, he's, you know, he's a good coach and he, he gets the best out of his players no matter where he's at. Let's go to uh, Chip Towers and then Seth Emerson. Yeah, Warren, just, uh, you know, it is, it's a college football playoff. Uh, so it's uh, for everything, but is there any excitement for you or any of the players just about, uh, you know, going to Miami? It is the Orange Bowl. I guess there'll be some activities or whatever, or is it, or is it not that, right? Is it just uh, is strictly business when you're in a situation like this? Um. You know, I would say for the most part, it's strictly strictly business. You know, we um, have a bad taste from the SC championship, but we still have our goals ahead of us. And we just want to be locked in going down to Miami. You know, it's, it's a nice place. I've never been there before. I'm excited to go down there and be around that place, uh, be around the atmosphere. But, you know, we have a goal that we're working to. So I'm pretty sure we'll be locked in for that. I don't have anything. Okay, let's go to uh, Jake Rowe and then Connor Riley. Warren, uh, you look at – everybody's talking about their pass rushers and, and kind of that, but obviously, you know, a way to kind of slow that down is the run game. How are you guys feeling about your run game? I know you didn't get a whole lot of opportunity to do that in the SEC championship game. Has it been a focus? Is it something you're looking to get back to? What's your mentality as far as being able to uh, run the football right now? You know, definitely is something we're looking to get back to. You know, uh, it's always good to be able to run the ball. You know, uh, once you're able to run the ball, you can throw the ball a little bit better. So that's has been that has been one of our main focuses, running the ball a little bit better at, uh, since the SEC championship. Hey, Warren, given the long gap between your last game against Alabama and the game against Michigan, you do get some extra practices. How much better as players do you think you can get during that sort of month on month long layoff? Um, I think you can get a lot better in that month. You know, uh, Coach Mark does a good job of making sure everybody gets reps and gets the same amount of reps during this time. And so everybody's developing. You know, everybody's getting the same amount of reps and we're all coming in and putting in the same amount of effort. So I think you can get a lot better. Let's go to Palmer Toms and Lance McCurley. Yeah, for kind of following up on that, 
with some of those extended reps for some of these younger guys that, that may not have gotten, you know, a ton of meaningful reps during the regular season, who, have, who are some guys that you've noticed, uh, you know, have stood out to you? Um, well, for me, for the offensive line, definitely um, Michael Morris, you know, Dylan Fairchild, uh, Marius Mims, they've all been, you know, progressively getting better over this time. You know, just that's what really happens during this time because we get to focus more on, you know, technique and stuff like that. You know, for the first couple of weeks, we were just focused on us. So we got to, you know, really look at ourselves and get better. How about the kind of progression of uh, Austin Blask as he's uh, now in, I believe, his second year at UGA? You know, Austin, he's gotten a lot better. You know, he's switched from – he's played a bunch of positions, played tackle, guard, and now he's playing center. And, you know, he's done a great job at center. Just um, being able to take all – well, learn a whole new position, you know, especially center, is difficult, and he's done a good job with that. All right, let's go next to Ryan Curley. Warren, campus life is a little different right now. What do you do when you're not working out? You, you don't have school going on right now. What's your free time um, taken up by? Uh, probably watching film, you know, getting recovery, doing a little extra stuff that we uh, really couldn't do when school was in. And now that we uh, have a bunch of free time, just getting extra recovery, you know, watching more film and probably, you know, getting in shape. Okay, we got a few more minutes with Warren. If you have a follow-up question, feel free to jump right in. Warren, if I could, a follow-up on, on Hutchinson. When you when you go against a guy like that, you know he's going to be in the spotlight from, from, from scouts, from TV cameras, et cetera. Um, does it give you an extra bolt of uh, motivation uh, knowing that uh, you're also going to be in the, in the spotlight? You know, it's definitely always, it's always a motivation when you're going against a good player. You know, and just having he's with him having that spotlight, you know, you have to prepare for him and, you know, put in the uh, extra work to be ready. Warren, I heard you say something about goals, uh, you know, still out there. Um, I assume you're alluding to, you know, the, the high stakes for these next uh, game or two if you win. Um, you know, can you speak to that in terms of the motivation to to kind of that you're two games away from what you guys have been working for a long time to, to get towards? Will you repeat that for me? The national title that's out there, the, the stakes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, how, how much is it, you know, that, that it's only two wins away? How much does that excite you guys, drive you guys? Oh, yeah, that's a huge motivation. You know, that's something that we've been working for all, all season and during the season and that. And now we're two games away and, you know, it's, it's go or go home, so. We're, uh, I think we'll be ready for it for this game uh, again in Miami, and we'll be prepared. Okay. What does your um, the holiday plans look like with you guys preparing for the bowl game? Do you get to have like a team celebration with Christmas? What does that kind of look like for you guys? Uh, I think we'll have a couple of days off to go home and spend it with our family, but we'll be back um, shortly after. You know, to head to Miami. Any more questions for Warren? Okay, Warren, thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.